my roses while I'm still breathing. That's all I want. You said you don't drink anymore, right? Mm -mm. What was like, what was the changing factor for you to stop drinking? Uh, I mean, I started like early in college, like, you know, regular just going out. Yeah. Um, threw up a couple times <laughs> and it was kind of over after that. That was it. Oh, so it wasn't like no like life awakening. No, no, I don't, I'm not really a my fan of throwing up. A temple type. I mean, <laughs> at the same time, you know, I like to try to be as healthy as possible, okay. but yeah. It was it more like throwing up, up that like yeah. pushed you over. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, so I always find people that can go through life without drinking or do or smoking or just doing any type mm -hmm. of other substance to be the roughest motherfuckers on earth. Cause like, yo, <laughs> y'all are just going through like life like raw dogging. There's no shit. chill. <laughs> like, yeah, there's no yo, chill. Yo, cause shit, shit no, is tough out here. No like, loom, living is nigga. Tough. <laughs> do you have any other vices that helps you kind of get through? Uh, I've dibbled and dabbled in cannabis. Uh, okay. I've done mushrooms before. Uh, All right. That's pretty much. That's it. I don't. I don't mess. I've never done like anything like pills or anything like that. Nah. Even when I had surgery, I didn't even take any perks or none of that stuff. I don't like. So yeah, when's you? When's the first time you did shrooms? My junior year of college. Like what, yo? Because I, I've, I've, I've never done it. Mm -hmm. I want to do it, but like really? I'm just. You know what it is, yo? I'm really just scared. I'm gonna be like that fucking dude that like. <laughs> Just start, trips all start the way looking, out. Looking I mean, telephone mental. poles and shit. <laughs> no, nah, that's crazy. It's all mental though. <laughs> it's like, like, it's how was how was your first uh, time? Uh, like, did you trip? Yeah, it, it was dope. Honestly, it was me and my ex girlfriend. Uh, I mean, it was dope. We saw like the visuals was crazy. We were like walking through a park. I mean, it was dope. It was dope. Did you fuck on it? Yeah. Like, was it like, like extra like <laughs> crazy? Like, <laughs> I heard it's like overwhelming when like you fuck on fuck on mushrooms, bro. Yeah, yeah like it's just like too much sensory shit going on. Like it's like nah. sensory overload. Nah, not nah. really. Nah, like, like what? Like you squirt instead of her? <laughs> <laughs> like, what do you mean? Like, I don't know, nigga. Like, I, I think I wasn't the one to fucking do it, so I was just told, like, you know, it's just too much shit's going on. Like, it was just like too much to fucking focus on. Like, all right. So, um, for y'all that don't know, you're a pro basketball player, right? Mm -hmm. So. When was the first time like you picked up a basketball or got into basketball? Uh, I was two years old. My oh, father like put young. a basketball in my hand. Yeah. So your father yep. put basketball in your hand. He played in college. He played at Central Connecticut State University. Okay. Uh, he played overseas for a couple of years. Uh, England, Poland. I think he spent some time in like uh, the Russia area. I'm pretty sure. But yeah. So, do you feel like you chose basketball, or did he choose it for you? Oh, uh, he definitely persuaded me and then you know you, every boy wants to be like their father growing up yeah. he kind of persuaded me to uh you know play basketball put it in my hand early but then at, eventually it starts to take over for itself i think that at a young age you'll find out if you like something or not and then as you get older you'll find out if you love it or not and obviously i, I still i love it so was there ever a point in your life where like you didn't like you weren't sure and, like and you kind of felt like because i know mm -hmm. um i mean obviously like a father-son relationship can be difficult just in a yeah. regular situation right but when you add sports into it, it it's like it amplifies, amplifies it right? yeah for sure because even with me right like i was mm -hmm. big into track and cross country when i was in high school and mm -hmm. i got a son now so i'm like kind of trying to push him towards it right and i see he doesn't really care for it yeah so it's like tough like seeing that shit and it's like because i don't want to ruin our relationship you know what i'm saying because i've seen like a lot of well basketball players like talk about their fathers like you know forcing them to play ball and they just kind of like resent them for it like have you ever like experienced that part where he was like pushing you too hard oh yeah when i was young i used to cry to my mom all the time when i was young like yo daddy pushed me too hard he doing this he doing that but um i definitely even when i was young I, I understood what it was for i understood the passion that he had for basketball and it obviously he instilled it in me um but yeah i was i definitely had my situations where we kind of butted heads and all that. It, it happened a lot, actually. Like, but if you had to go back, would you change anything? Not, a, not a thing. Really? No. Not a thing. You're, you think the way how hard he pushed you definitely? Yeah, it was. I mean, you. I mean, a, a lot of basketball it relates to life, and a lot of the things that he was teaching me through basketball was just discipline and right. like how to just just do certain things. Yeah, yeah. And like I said, it all relates and it translates. Yeah,